welcome back myself aditya daptardar and i am here with one more video which is simple solution to the following question and the question is at the time of broadband installation laptop was used and now want to install a wifi router and for that isp is charging rupees 200 and plus now this is the same question which has been asked by Mr. Piyush Raj in one of my YouTube videos comments. He writes, I have taken internet connection at the time of connection. I had connected broadband ethernet to my computer ethernet, but now I want to configure D-Link DIR600. Then there is an error to connect in internet. And when I asked to ISP, then they told me you will be charged 200 rupees for the configuration and to enable sharing but i don't want to give 200 rupees because they are making full out of me so please help me this is a comment given by mr piyush raj and i know many of the people have been stuck in the same situation so i recommend don't pay at all because I have a solution for that. So without wasting further time, let's get started. Now I will just give you what is the problem. It's mainly based on the MAC address captured by your internet service provider. What happens at the time of installation, suppose you have used laptop. Then laptop's MAC address has been recorded at their end and thereafter you buy a new wi-fi router and try to connect but not connects give some error because your router's mac address is totally different from your laptop's mac address and your internet service provider does not provide access to multiple mac address enabled that means it does not provide internet access to multiple devices in short and if you ask your internet service provider, they may charge you rupees 200 and plus for resetting your MAC address. So without, without doing that, I have uh, some solution for that. Now, the solution is divided into two steps. So first step is find out your laptop's MAC address now you will ask me how to do that so i will tell you just press windows plus r and it will open run run window for you here you have to give cmd and press enter it will provide you the command prompt now here what you have to do is just type one command ip config slash all and press enter now it will generate multiple addresses and options for you but we are interested in ethernet adapter local area connection this is the one in which we are interested in in that there will be a physical address okay so you have to do uh, you have to copy this address now how to copy just press right click select mark and select all this uh, address and just press enter it will be copied now close that command prompt and second step is use that into your Wi-Fi routers configuration page now how to do do that for that open browser and give the IP address as 192.168.0.1 this is the default IP address for the configuration page of your router but I have changed it to 101 now 
if you are not changed it to any other um, IP address, default is 192.168.0.1. Now you have to give here the IP address and press enter. Now that will open our D link page for you. Here, suppose if you are not set up any password earlier, just leave it blank and press on login. Now this page will be in front of you. Here you have to go in setup and select the manual. Don't uh, don't go in here internet setup or uh, local wizard, local connection and wizard. Just go on manual and here at the end there will be a table called as a Mac clone. Here they have given us the three options default Mac, Mac from PC and Mac manual. Now I will brief you about uh, all the three options. First is default Mac. Default Mac means it will take the Mac address from the router because we have opened the page of a router and for that default MAC address is the MAC address of the router. Now second option is MAC from PC. Now suppose if you have selected this option, it will auto generate the another address here. But what happens? There is some error in generating uh, or capturing the MAC address from the PC. Now how we will check it, we have just copied MAC address uh, from our computer's command prompt. Now I will tell you, this is what we have copied and this is what it is showing. There is a huge difference between both of, both, both of these addresses and we are not interested in this address we are interested in this address therefore what you have to do select mac manual now after selecting mac manual just go there and delete all the thing now here uh, press ctrl plus f it will open the find window for you sorry control plus h it will uh, open the replace window for you now find in the first section give hyphen and in second section give colon and press on replace all it will be formatted in this way now you have to copy this address and paste it here now just press on apply changes and after applying the changes go in maintenance page and here press on reboot don't press on reset just press on reboot it will reboot the d-link router in 30 seconds and after that you will be able to connect to your internet i can't show you because my default ip address is my router's ip address is been registered to my isp and i could not change it to my pc's uh, mac address but this is the thing what you have to do and the problem will be resolved and you can connect to internet without giving a single penny to your isp this is a technique thank you for watching the video and if you like the video don't hesitate to give the thumbs up and if you have any query just put it in the description uh, in the comment section below thank you